Hi, I'm Aaron Stang. I'm one of the co-authors of Sound Innovations for Elementary Class Guitar. The other author is Jason Yeary. He's not here with me today, but hey, Jason. Um, so uh, in these videos, I'm going to be demonstrating everything you're going to be doing in your book. Use these videos, okay? It's a really great idea to always know exactly what something sounds like before you try to play it, okay? A couple of basic things before we get started. Your guitar will look something like mine uh, in terms of we call this part of the guitar the body. So this is the body of the guitar. This is the neck of the guitar. And we call this the headstock. Okay, so the body, the neck, the headstock. We use these up here. These are the tuning keys. We turn them to tune the guitar. Your teacher will work on tuning with you when it's the appropriate time. And there'll be a video specifically on tuning that you can view. Um, in terms of terminology, okay, here are the strings. Now, this string here is a higher pitch than this string, right? Went way down. So when we talk about pitch on the guitar, if I say the high string, I'm talking about this one. Even though this string might seem lower, it's closer to the ground, it's the high string. These are the lower strings as I come in this direction. For the same reason, if I play a note here, you'll notice the pitch is going up. So this is moving up the neck, and this is moving down the neck. Because we always talk in terms of pitch, not physical direction. It's all about the, the pitch of the note we're going to play. Now, um, in this book, you're going to be playing with a pick. You might want to start out with just your thumb, but hopefully you'll transition to a pick soon. Thumb is really great for starting, but it's a little limiting in terms of how much you can really do. So I'm going to start with my thumb just a little bit. Um, in this first lesson, your teacher is going to be playing some simple melodies for you, and he's going to want you to imitate them. Um, but just to get you started, using your thumb, you place your arm up here, on this, we call this the upper bout of the guitar. Place your elbow up there, and just hang your hand so that it's near the sound hole. That's the sound hole. Kind of like a loose fist. And if you're gonna use your thumb, you would do this. Okay, that's how we would sound a string with your thumb. The next string. The next string. And I could go all the way down. One thing I want you to notice, when I play a string with my thumb, notice that the thumb goes through the string and comes to rest on the next string. Don't do this. Don't like pluck the string and come way out into space, okay? The thumb goes straight down. Now as far as sitting position, sit comfortably on your chair. I prefer the basic guitar position of putting my um, guitar on my right leg, okay? Sit up straight. If you hunch over all the time, your back might start to hurt. Sit up straight. We're not going to use this hand for a little bit, but it would be a good idea to start getting used to setting it in position, which means your thumb will rest on the back of the neck. Your fingers should be curled and ready to play, even though we're not going to use them quite yet. For a little bit, we're just going to focus on this hand. So sit up straight, hold the guitar like this. There is also a video that will just talk about different sitting and standing positions that you can tune into as well. Now, for those of you ready to start using a pick, this is a pick, and I'd like you to use it as soon as you can, okay? We hold the pick between our thumb and our index finger, just like that. Position the hand, okay? The, th the uh, pick sticks out of your fingers just a little bit. And if you're playing single notes or single strings, you just sort of gently push down on the pick, let it go through the string, and let it come to rest on the next string. If you're doing the top string, just let it go straight through and stop it. Again, don't do this. Don't plug out pluck outward, okay? Just straight down.
Okay, work with your teacher. When you guys are done with lesson one, come on back and we're gonna do lesson two together.